hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to generate a pdf document inside the browser using html form we can export raw text inside node.js and express we will be using the fpdf library let me show you a very short little demo of the application what we will be building so if i start this application nodemon index.js so it will start this no express app at uh, localhost 5000 you will see we will have a simple text area out there here we can write any number of raw text so all the formatting will be preserved out there you can have as many spaces as many lines as you want of raw text and it will be converted to pdf document so it will automatically calculate how many pages will be required for the pdf documents for whenever you click the download pdf file button so now if I click the download PDF file, the PDF file will automatically download it as, it as an attachment. If I open it inside the browser, you will see automatically the font is also being set by using custom font. You will see that automatically three, three pages have been generated. It automatically calculated depending upon the length of the text. So you will see how easy it is to generate PDF documents using this library called as FPDF. It's a PHP class which is able to generate PDF documents from raw text. We are, will be using it as a Node.js module. We are using this uh, library or module called as Node-FPDF. Basically it acts as a driver or wrapper library. It's a very pretty new uh, module which costs uh, only 95 weekly downloads but it makes the job easier in order to generate PDF documents you can just set all these documentation is really good you can set images text as well but in this case we will only see how to generate the raw text only if you click that button your PDF file will be downloaded as an attachment so let's start building this application I have written all the source code in the description of this video where I have written a complete step-by-step -step blog post explaining each instruction in detail. So if you want to read the blog post alongside with watching the video, you can go to the description of this video. So let's start building this application. So, so first of all, guys, we will now make a new Node.js project. So I will go into the projects directory and here I will make a new directory which is fpdf project I will open this directory inside my visual studio code text editor so very first thing we need to do we need to initialize the package.json file npm init-y so this will create the package.json file now we just need to install the express module and then we just need to install node fpdf so these two modules are required for this application so now you will see it has added these two modules so now we just need to start the basic express app so we will simply require this express module and also we will require this node fpdf and then we will initialize the basic express app and start this app on port number 5000 so we will simply say that uh, app is listening on port 5000 and then we will simply have a simple get request on the home route so whenever someone goes to the home page they will see this form we will send this file using this method so this index.html file we will create in the root directory so we will create this file here index.html so let me just stop this application close this folder so right here basically we will have a simple text area out there we will change the title uh, text to pdf and node chase and express so inside this we will have a simple form action will go to slash convert method will be post and here we will have a simple text area we will this name will be text out there and columns will be around 80 rows will be around 25 and this should be basically required 
and that's all and after this we will have a button to submit the form so input type submit and the value will be download PDF document like this so now if I uh, launch this application, if I say here node more index.js, you will see it will start this application at port number 5000. You will now see, basically we have this, let me decrease this columns to 40 and we will have a break tag after this. So if I refresh it right here, you will now see, let me also decrease the rows as well five rows you will see that uh, I think just make it as 15 so now you can see the interface is there you can e even resize it accordingly as well like this so now we just need to make this post request so right here we also need to include the body parser middleware which while we are working with forms so we did not have to install it so right here we just need to set these middleware functions so app.use body parser dot url encoded extended to false body parser json that's all so after this we just need to make this post request app.post slash convert and request response and here we will get the text out there guys which the user has submitted by request or body dot text this is basically the name attribute that we have given in the html file right here this is needs to be the same here after we do that we just need to basically uh, use this library and it contains methods uh, we will first of all generate the output file name output file we can generate a date dot now and every time this name will be dynamic using this date dot now after this we will generate a new pdf document we will use this constructor fpdf that we imported right here fpdf you will see that and here we just need to provide some properties here which will be this this will be capital P this will be millimeter and uh, a4 size so we will say a4 size PDF document then we will add a new page we will you will see all these methods are supported you will add custom font add link add pages as well we are add a new page right here using this method you can even set custom font using this method set font we will add such new font out there which is Arial font and here we can provide the boldness if you want boldness you will say capital B and then you will provide the size so let's suppose I want to provide the size to be 15 I will pass the size and then you will insert the text out there guys using multi cell so here we will provide uh, the x coordinate to be 0 y to be 10 and then you will provide your text so whatever text that we are in, uh, receiving right here inside this variable we are simply passing it right here after this we just need to output this on we need to create a file here we will simply create this file here and this name will be output file that we constructed right here that's all and now we just need to wait for at least one second so we will basically make a method out there which will be sleep so we need to define this method which will be sleep and here inside this method we will call this method we will pass here a thousand millisecond so we are using await so this needs to be an async function so right inside this function guys we will simply use a built-in javascript function which is we will return a new promise from this function so this millisecond will be passed as an argument so inside this promise we will simply resolve this promise and inside this we will use the set timeout method and we will wait for this millisecond right here so this is basically it will wait for how much seconds that you pass right here 
we are passing 1000 milliseconds so this is approximately equal to one second and then it will download this file as an attachment in the browser so that's why we are waiting for one second so we will pass the path output file that's all so this completes the application guys so I can now launch this application in the browser so if I you will see no error is there if I now try to enter something here click on this button you will see it will wait for one second and now your PDF file will be downloaded and now you can see this is basically the size the custom font as well like this you will see that so in this easy way guys you can generate basically any PDF document from raw text here you can provide the raw text right route right here you can play with these properties you can change the size of the font as well let's suppose I've changed it to 50 so now you will see the font will be changed here if I now say 50 font is there If I now open this you will see the size of the font is increased right here 50 you can play with these values accordingly guys it's a tremendous library very powerful library when it comes to generating images or inserting text link links inside the PDF document it supports all the formatting I do you want I will make more videos on this library please hit that like button subscribe the channel and all the source code is given in the description of this video